Hey guys, so today I wanted to finally do the apartment tour that I promised you guys months and months ago. I know we've lived here for like 10 months now and it has taken us forever to get settled in. Originally we only planned on living here for a year. We were gonna move again this summer, um, but we decided we're just gonna stay here for at least maybe another year, year and a half, maybe even two years. Um, we are just not sure where we wanna live forever. So we're not ready to buy a house. Um, we're not even ready like really financially to rent a house in this area so uh, we're just gonna stay in this apartment for now it's very small but it it does fine for what we need uh, so we don't want to move again if it's not gonna have like a real purpose if moving isn't really going to like further us in life so here we are um, we finally gotten some paintings and um, artwork you know and stuff up on the walls uh, we have a lot more stuff obviously than we had 10 months ago when I showed you guys just the basic apartment I don't even remember what all we had then I know it wasn't much because we had just moved in like a week before that um, so yeah we're mildly settled now there is still some stuff that we want to do to the apartment so uh, maybe if we're still here next summer I'll do like an updated apartment tour and like show you guys all the new stuff we have if we have anything by then um but for now, I just wanted to show you what we have after we lived here for almost a year. Finally, we're doing this apartment tour. So um, I'm just going to grab you guys so I can take you with me. So I'm just going to start in here. This is my office. This is the back of what you guys see. This is what I see when I'm filming. Um, this is my little setup here. Let me see if I can get the lighting adjusted. This is my little setup here um, for filming. Uh, we don't have a lot of storage space, so a lot of stuff is just sitting around the apartment. You will see that. Um, so this is just kind of like my stuff. Like I have like all my weights and my suitcases and stuff here. And um, winter scarves and hats and stuff, some shoes. Um, then I have my little nook over here in my little corner. This is my bookshelf. Um, I do have like all my lipsticks and stuff there. Um, and all kinds of stuff over here. I really would like to get another bookshelf um, and put on this wall somewhere over here just to set more of my stuff up because a lot of it's just sitting around and then I have all my instruments over here. I have like my saxophone and my viola and my clarinet and then I have like my uh, DSLR camera over here. I've um, got my diplomas up here. Woo! Um, then I just have my little chair here where I like to sit and read. I wanted to have like a little reading nook so I sort of have that. Um, I will kind of sit here and like meditate and stuff like that sometimes. And then over here I have like wedding and Christmas stuff that's just like still in a pile. <laughs> um, and then behind us here, what you guys um, kind of see some of behind me. I have my Himalayan salt lamp, my crystals, incense, all that kind of stuff. Then I just have some stuff that's just kind of here like I have in the background. Um, that's just kind of like I think a cool background for a video. I still have my Easter flag up because, you know, need to change that, whatever. Um, then I just have some, like, blankets and stuff piled down here. Because, like I said, stuff's just sitting around because there's not a lot of storage. Um, and then I have my cello, which you guys see in the background. It's not a working cello. It's just not worth fixing. It's super, super cheap. If you guys are instrumentalists, you probably know what I'm talking about. So it just sits here as a cool background. Um, so there's pretty much the room. <laughs> there's me. Um... So yeah, this is pretty much the room. It's very small. There's a closet over there. I have some um, stuff here in these shelves. I still have like two cardboard boxes of stuff that I don't know what to do with and there's no place to store it so it just sits there. I might put like a sheet or a blanket or something over it at some point. I have a little painting I did up here. Um, so we're just going to leave the office now and go out here to the kitchen. Ooh, the lighting is super weird out here. Let me see if I can make it any better. Probably not. Uh, maybe, kind of. It's like super yellow. I'll try to like adjust this in post. But here's the kitchen. You guys have seen this before. That's the front door right there. We have a little runner now, which is cool. We have a small storage closet over here, but we mostly put like jackets and stuff like that. We have some boxes in it for storage, but it's just very small. So here's the kitchen, what you guys didn't see before. We need to do dishes, I know, ignore that. Um, we all have like our mail and stuff sitting out of here. And then we have a mess up here because we are actually working on hanging some more paintings and stuff up. We've got some stuff hanging as you guys will see, but we're just kind of like, this is our cluttered mess of trying to hang. Um, there's a skateboard and some toys that Zach put up, got a little shelf, so that's definitely new. I don't know if we have these, had these bar stools before. Um, but yeah, we got some bar stools. And here's our couch. I can't remember if this was here before either or not. Um, a friend gifted us a couch, but it's kind of old, so that's why we have like all the blankets and stuff over it. 
I also have cats that like to destroy everything, uh, but it's really big. We didn't really originally want a sectional, so we're hoping to get a new couch actually very soon, um, but I'm not sure when, so I didn't want to wait any longer to do this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's our couch. And then over here, we have our TV entertainment center set up. We have our TV that's honestly way too big for this apartment, but hey, it's what we had in our house before we moved here. Um, and then we have like all our, you know, PS3 cable, PS4, all that kind of stuff down there. Um, so there's all of that. And then right in here, we have a very small bathroom. I'm sure I showed you guys this before. If I could find the light, there we go. Um, very, very small. Uh, this is just kind of like our guest guest bathroom. I'm like talking with my hands behind the camera because you guys can't see that. So that's really useful. Um, so this is kind of like our guest bathroom. Zach uses this to get ready in the mornings because he um, leaves for work way before I do. So um, he doesn't want to wake me up. So he'll like get ready and do all of his stuff in here. So that's all why all that stuff is here. Um, and there's James. Cat's poopy boxes in here. We have one of Zach's paintings above the toilet because I really like above the toilet paintings. I think that's really cool. Um, so... Going back through the living room, here's the little cat's corner. I have a little scratching post, which it's a super cheap scratching post, so it's really lightweight. And our cats are like really rough with stuff. So we put a like five pound weight over there to like hold it down so they can scratch on it. Um, and yes, don't worry, I do feed my cats. They just are fat and ate all of their food and drank all of their water. So I will refill that in a few hours when it's time for them to eat again. So we do have some rugs. I know that's new. We got um, a rug over here and we just got a smaller one over here. Um, we have a bookshelf of stuff. This is our grand Harry Potter bookshelf in the first or the top two shelves are like Star Wars stuff but everything else is Harry Potter. We have an obsession with pops. Yes. Um, here is another painting over here. A couple paintings that Zach had that we hung up. Um, we just have like our heater and an ottoman sitting over here because we have like no place to store things. The heater's just kind of chilling over there for now. I don't really need it anymore. But yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a closer look here at our lovely little fan shelf. All the cool things. Hi, James. He's like pressed up against me, like sitting on the couch behind me. But yeah, here's all of our cool stuff and there's all of our pops. I know we have a problem. We have almost all of them collected. Almost. Um, so then over here, back here is our back porch. I showed you guys that before. Nothing strange with that. I have a couple more paintings over here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. These are a couple paintings here. Um, by our friends at the shop. And then we have Jesse Watson's stuff over here. These are some original paintings by Jesse. All three, all three of these right here are originals by Jesse. Um, this over here, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a print by Jesse. This is um, one of Travis Decker's originals. Um, and then this one over here is by Justin Castile. Um, that's the uh, tattoo I have on my inner thigh. That's the painting. So over here we just have our washer and dryer. We actually do have a dryer now. I know before it was like just a washer, um, but we did get a dryer. Our parents got us a dryer for our wedding because a wedding present. So there's that. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's just a washer and dryer. Oh, James. Sorry, I had to cut that because James got in there <laughs> to get him out. Um, okay, so going into the bedroom now. This is like the master bedroom. I know you guys saw this before, but I'll just kind of show you like what all we have in it now. This is our bed. I know the lighting's really bad in here too, but whatever. And then you'll have to excuse all the totes that I have sitting around. I'm like changing my summer clothes out of the, or my winter clothes out of the closet, putting my summer clothes in. So this is like all my winter clothes like in progress of being taken out and changed around. And then I don't know what I'll do with the totes. No idea. Yeah, here's all our stuff. Here's another heater just chilling. <laughs> um, here's some of my stuff on my foam roller and my headphones for the gym. And then we have another five pound weight here because this door like rattles back and forth and James has learned that. Um, so he'll like knock on the door at night. It's the most annoying thing in the world. He'll just like put his pop on the door and like it's awful. So we put that little five pound weight against the door when he gets to doing that so the door doesn't knock. Yeah, um, so here's just like all my stuff over here. I have like all my plugs, body jewelry, stuff like that. Um, my little Hello Kitty piggy bank. Um, shoes. I have a problem with shoes. More shoes. Still have a problem with shoes. Um, there's just like all my nightstand and everything over here. And then I have my little treat yourself thing. Oh, you can't see it. Boo. Boo lighting. Let's see. 
Oh, you still can't see it. It's probably because it's on. If I turn it off, you can see it. But that's my treat yourself sign that used to be um, behind my videos. Like I used to have that behind my videos. So moving over here, it's just awful lighting in this apartment. That's the bad thing, but whatever. Um, so this is kind of our master bath over here. We have a linen closet and then we have like actual clothes here. Um, some of my clothes are here. Some of them are like in the office, whatever you want to call it. And then Zach's clothes are all in here. So here is another mirror, um, bathroom sink, all that good stuff. Then we have a really, really tiny bathroom in here. Um, we have like mats and stuff up. I don't think we have, I don't know if we have that before. There's really not anything in here I can like actually show you because it's so small I can't even like get in the bathroom. I was going to like show you the bathroom, but I can't because it's too small. So yeah, I really like this. This is my favorite part, like this bathroom. Like being like this with the master bedroom is my favorite part of the entire apartment. Like I love this so much, it's just so cute. So going back out, I'll give you guys kind of a another walkthrough of the apartment <laughs> as we walk back out. But yeah, there's the living room and the cats. Felix is asleep. And of course he's knocked the blankets down. They both knocked the blankets down. Hey Felix! Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to say hello. His eye looks funny. And James. I'm sure James will say hello. Hey, buddy. Huh? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Anyways, so, yeah. There's our little apartment, our little humble abode. Um, that's really all there is to show you guys. Honestly, I don't really know what else to say or show you. Um... So, yeah, guess now we're back in here. Um, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was super short. It was just like a quick fly through, I felt like, of the apartment, just kind of showing you guys everything that we have gotten in the past almost year now. We're trying to make this place our home. It's, it, it can be hard to make a place your home when you just, it's so small and you just don't feel at home sometimes, but the more stuff we do to the apartment, the, the better it's getting. I think it was just really hard for me going from like a duplex and then to a house and then like I kept upgrading. Like I had an apartment in college, a two-story apartment, like a townhouse style, and then I went to a duplex where I had literally half of an entire house that was a pretty large apartment to myself, and then I had an entire house to myself. And then I downgraded from that to a second story, two bedroom, tiny apartment, which I mean, everything else is two bedroom too, but it's like just a super, super small place. So it was hard for me to um, get all of my stuff here. Like a lot of stuff had to go when we moved. We tossed a lot of stuff out and gave a lot of stuff away. Um, and just like the lack of storage really gets to me because I have so much stuff that just like I need, but I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I'm just that kind of person. I'm a pack rat, I guess. Um, so it has been difficult and that's why at first we were like not even trying to settle is because we were like well, we're just gonna move in a year um, So we like have stuff that you know didn't get impacted like I said I still have like a couple boxes that I just haven't unpacked because it's like I don't know what to do with it There's no place to store it um, But now we're kind of starting to get more settled because we're like well We're probably gonna be here at least another year maybe two We'll just kind of see our lease is up like every six months from this point on um, Like we had a year lease and then we signed for another six months So um, we'll probably go at least for another year maybe like a year and a half I don't know. We'll just kind of see. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next Friday. Bye.